I don't know, uh, Shubs, where to start. Uh, if I start on the football, <clears throat> probably it's better. Um, we struggled a little bit in the first half. We 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 analyzed the opposition, of course. <clears throat> and from our analysis, we knew that we 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 had a lot of work to do in controlling the half spaces <clears throat> because of a very narrow attack. Excuse me, there's a lot of uh, spray here. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Um, yeah, so we started a little bit, uh, struggled a little bit to settle and uh, because we didn't settle so well into the structure and the formation, and, uh, of course, because of the tactical changes that we made, uh, we knew we had to control the half spaces. So the decision we made was to control the half spaces with the center halves. And then in the second half, we made a decision to control the half spaces with the midfielders and we looked a little bit more comfortable on the pitch. But yeah, uh, good. The only thing maybe, yeah, this it's not a performance that we'll spend a lot of time on. It's a performance that normally I watch our uh, our last game twice, three times and do the corrections maybe the third or the fourth time. But I don't think I'm going to watch this game uh, too many times uh, because uh, we struggled a little bit with the structure. We didn't play well. Uh, we lacked a lot of compactness, and 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 as I say this, it's important to 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 pass a disclaimer and say, it's not that it's not because of a lack of effort and energy from the players. The players played, and did the best that they could. We already had some very good individual performances in the first half, but but yeah, structurally we just we were just very uncomfortable on the pitch, and um, when we went back to to a back four and, and restructured and had a little bit more control of the half spaces from the midfield. We looked a lot more comfortable. And uh, so so this one we also take as the coaches. This one is on us. Uh, it's on our shoulders. Uh, we, we could have done better to help the players prepare uh, a little bit better and to perform a little bit better on the pitch. But OK, good. We take the three points and uh, Congratulate um, Real AM for making a game of it because from 3-0 to, to, to finish 3-2 means that they fought and they stayed in the game and uh, they tried their level best to, to, to make it a contest. Uh, but yeah, congratulations to our players for, for, uh, for winning the match. Okay, we'll start with Mr. Molefe followed uh, by Pasha just to change things a little bit. Mr. Molefe, please go ahead, uh, Mazola. Uh, thanks, Shupi. Uh, <clears throat> congratulations on the win, Coach. Um, maybe if you if you could, you know, <laughs> elaborate a little further. What do you mean? I mean, you sound almost, uh, you know, self <laughs> self critical. Almost like you are the ones who lost three uh, two. I mean, for 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 the neutral. So some of us who are watching the game, we thought Sundowns were were dominant up until obviously. The, the three one and the penalty decision which actually hits uh, Rushi not in on the stomach rather than the hand uh, but your your comments sound like it was uh, almost like a bit of a symbolic <laughs> performance from sundowns maybe you could explain what you mean that you know they didn't maybe follow the patterns and you didn't you know you were self-critical of, of the performance no no Mazola and uh, and I'm happy we're talking football and, and tactics uh, don't get me wrong. The players were, were very good on the pitch. The players were very good. They 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 did the best that they could. They they ran. They they worked very very hard in and out of possession. Uh, you can't ask for more from the players. What I'm saying is this one is on us because clearly we were not well prepared in the structure. We changed the system today. We went to a back three and uh, we tried to use our lateral center house to control the half space of uh, Mabena, Botsane, and uh, in this in this game was Masuku more than than uh, than Mabena because Letswalo wasn't in and then Mabena played as a nine. But in the last couple of games, Mabena has been playing and operating in the half space. And we knew that we had a lot of problems because uh, that's where they initiate the runs from, uh, to go behind the defensive line and they are fourth. Uh, in the in the league in relation to balls behind the defensive line and 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 movement from from deep their structure is very very awkward they've got a linguati playing left center half they've got a tower uh, mahash played as a center half and then the skipper is playing 
right center half with very, very aggressive uh, wing backs. On the left, of course, Sidiso is not a, a left back, but as a left winger, he's very aggressive and he goes forward in, in that fullback position. So the role is very uh, suited to his qualities. And then whether they have Mkize like they had today or they have Mufugeng like they had against um, Amazulu because Mkize was suspended against Stellenbosch, you know that they are also quite aggressive in that space. So that four across midfield with a Palane uh, in the midfield to, to be able to, 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 to initiate the possibilities of, of switching play. And, and when we could high press, we could high press very well, but as soon as it escaped and they, they found possibilities to escape to the side, in the new structure, we couldn't lock the ball in because uh, we did not have the extra midfielder. So we, could, we had to steal the extra midfielder from, from our front line. Either Kutumela and Neo had to be the ones to come a little bit closer to Palane so that he could not switch and then escape the press, you know? So, we struggled a little bit in, in regards to that, uh, finding a bit of comfort in, in an uncomfortable new system. And then when we, we, we stabilized a little bit in the second half, um, Toby came in, we had an extra man in the midfield. We minus the extra man in the last line. So we had our plus one in the midfield. And then, and then we looked a lot more comfortable. Um, the two goals then came and then it was 3-0. And, and uh, while we were cruising, we got caught on the counter attack. Okay, of course. Uh, in that moment, a little bit lax with the defending, particularly when the ball went to the side and we allowed the ball to be recycled and then to be delivered into the box. And you can't do that at this level because um, when you make mistakes at this level, you are going to be punished. But as I say, uh, the, the performance was very, very good from Sundowns. The players played very, very well, but uh, just tactically, uh, a bit more clarity in terms of the roles and the functions, not, not the positioning. Uh, not the positioning, the functions of, 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 of the players in different positions within the new structure. But okay, of course, uh, sometimes you have to try these new things and, and try to experiment. Uh, fortunately for us, we won the game. Okay, and we, we won with the lessons. We are we're a better team and we are improving. And, and now we've already established that we've also got a, a different system that we can play and adopt. Uh, we know how to improve it and how to work on it, and that's okay. It's it's part of the process and it's part of growing the team. And sometimes when you grow the team, you take it out of its level of comfortability and you allow it to be in a place of discomfort so that it can be stretched, it can grow, and it can improve. Garabo uh, Pasha, you may go ahead. The first person, please do identify yourself when you come uh, online. Garabo, please go ahead, sir. All right, thank you, thank you, uh, Karabo coach. Uh, uh, good evening and uh, good evening to my colleagues. Uh, congratulations on the win, coach. Uh, coach, you, you are one of the few coaches in South African football that follows the trends, uh, you know, on social media and so forth. And uh, of recent, of late, you know, uh, a lot of questions has been asked about Gaston Serino. Why hasn't he been starting? Any particular reason why he's not been starting, Gaston Serino? And uh, secondly, coach, uh, Andy Lejali has spoken about the uncontrollables and you also spoken about the uncontrollables post-match uh, on the TV interview. What exactly do you mean by that? What are the uncontrollables that you guys face today? Thank you. Well, there were a lot of uncontrollables, Karabo. Um, I don't speak about referees. I will never speak about referees. I refuse to speak about referees. But uh, yeah, very difficult to, uh, to stomach that type of performance. Uh, but okay. And maybe let me speak more about uh, when you're speaking about, what was his first question? The uncontrollables. Well, the uncontrollables. AJ, uh, and AJ's uh, comment about uncontrollables. Yeah, well, yeah, the least I say the better about, about that the uncontrollable. We spoke about it at halftime. We made it easier for them by, by, by turning over a lot of possession and then we gave the ball to the opposition and, and obviously then there's influence from the uncontrollables, but okay, we did better in the second half. We looked after the ball a little bit better. The structure changed a little bit so that we were a little bit more comfortable on the pitch and that was the way of trying to have a bit of an influence in the uncontrollable. Of course, uh, we knew we could not control it, so we allowed it to, to be where it was. And um, yeah, by allowing it to be where it was, I think everybody saw um, the events that took place on the pitch. It's not for us to complain. Uh, it's us to just focus on, on making sure that we improve the performances. Why is Gaston not playing? Well, um, it's, it's very difficult because then you have to ask yourself why Neo is playing. And then, of course, 
uh, why is Kutumela playing? But then when you ask that question, then the results are on the pitch. And sometimes uh, there are players that uh, are not playing only because we can only play 11. The one thing I can say is uh, huge compliments for their professionalism, Caston. Uh, and he's not the only one, Caston, Villa, uh, Obre Modiba, uh, and even players like Lissedi Kapinga, uh, George Maluleka. These players train, and it's not very easy. This uh, You understand that when you, when you come to training, in a in a in a in a space where you know that possibly I'm not going to be playing, uh, possibly I'm not going to be part of the team, but I still go on with the, the business of training and training as if I'm going to be playing and be professional and give the team the my, the best that I can. Uh, this is the mentality that Gaston possesses, uh, Villa possesses, Aubrey possesses, and then. Of course, when they get their opportunities, the responsibility is on them to be able to speak by performance, not to speak by uh, showing long faces and, and, and showing the disgruntlement, uh, the, the, the actions and the, the louder uh, communication comes from the performances on the pitch. And, and that was what Gaston did today. He came on, he showed uh, hunger and, and, and a good appetite to try to help the team. And, and as long as they do that, then it provides for healthy competition uh, for places in the team. Only 11 can play. We are fortunate that we've got a very, very good squad, a squad that has anybody can, can play, um, but it's good. It's good competition. It's healthy competition. It's a good headache for us, the coaches. And uh, uh, of course, at times then we are unfair Unfortunately, that's the reality. We are unfair to some of the players. And I and I always say, you know, we are very close to the players. Um, I, I say to the players, like Mshishi, for an example, that we are best friends, uh, but when they are not playing, we are only friends. You know, the best falls off and then uh, there's, a, there's an element of unhappiness, but it's right. It's the right way. It's the right way. Players must be unhappy when they don't play. But that unhappiness, you've got a different way of showing it. You've got, you can show it with a long face and disgruntlement, or you can show it by performing on the pitch and saying, I put my hand up and, I, and I'm at service to the team and I'm willing to be able to, to, to be ready to, to assist the team. Uh, the Softer branded media member, please do identify yourself. Um, good afternoon, Coach Tsapang from Sokala Duma. Um, coach, I just wanted to check how Promise is doing. I think last time Coach Magnob had mentioned he had an injury and you know maybe there was a possibility of him going out on loan the last transfer window, but it didn't happen. Just wanted to find out how he's doing and if also there's a possibility of him going out on loan in Jen. Yeah, Tepang, uh, promise, promise is very important for us. If you, if you see what happened at the beginning of the season, a lot of our younger ones, uh, because of uh, the fluctuation on the top end of the, the age scale, we had to try to, to assist their development and their progress. Uh, Musa, Luvuyo Pewa, these are players that were with us. Uh, Malebo Khamudise, uh, these kids are, are all out on loan to try and get minutes and, and experience. At their age, the best way to improve is by getting competitive experience in environments that are conducive for development and for growth with, uh, with support from, from coaches and the technical team. And then of course, with support from us. And that's why a lot of them went out on loan, but we decided to keep Promise because we feel that Promise is in a space where it is better for his development to, to be stretched, to be provoked, to be stimulated by, by having a Caston around him, by having a Tembazwani around him. And then, of course, then you 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 leave the competitive uh, element to play to the player, so that he he knows that he's in a team that he has to compete for a place in. And so far, apart from some of these uh, unfortunate circumstances with uh, with COVID and then with injuries and and all the likes, um, it becomes very very difficult, you know. So he's with us. He's training well. He's showing good appetite. He, he listens. He works. Um, but he's definitely one for the future. We, we as Mama Luis Sanams, have a lot of faith. We have a lot of confidence in his talent and, and hopefully um, he works hard and he gets to a level where he can fulfill his, his, his great potential. Thank you, Coach Fidel. Thank you, Shubi. Uh, evening, Coach. Evening, Fidel. Thank you, sir. Uh, are you a bit concerned with your defense that lately it's being breached 
And we all know in the Champions League, uh, you'll be punished for, for even the smallest of errors. And subbing Limusa at halftime, was it purely technical or was he injured for, from Vala? I, I'm not sure why. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Fidel. I like the questions today. They are football related, which is good. Musa's substitution was just injury induced. Um, he, he had a little bit of a complication when he went for that last ditch tackle with the, I think it was Potsane and when Potsane was through and Musa was making that, that defensive recovery action. And then he stayed a little bit on the ground. I think you all saw. So we had to make the change um, with him, Toby for Musa, but uh, we'll, we'll wait for assessment and, and the prognosis from the medical department. And there was a hand from uh, Velile. And that would be the last question. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, good evening, coach. Uh, congratulations evening. on the win. Um, unfortunately, all the football questions have been taken away. <laughs> uh, so allow me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've, um, got a sneaky, I've got a sneaky feeling that even if they were not taken away, we would still go <laughs> <in> this direction. <laughs> you know, uh, we are going towards Christmas and uh, yeah. we are allowed to, to, to dream and uh, to dream for that uh, Christmas present. Would, would VAR be uh, amongst those uh, Christmas presents you would wish for? Um, I'm saying this because um, the continent, um, especially where we are competing now, um, if you look at uh, almost all the leagues in the Maghreb region, they play uh, with VAR, then they come to CAF competitions, there's no VAR. But I think next season there could be a huge change with Champions League, especially in the stage that you are going into now. Um, especially for a league as ours, that is counted as um, one of the best, uh, if not the best, um, in the sub-Saharan region. And I mean, if you look at all the decisions today, whether they, they be against or even for sundowns today, um, they point to that direction. And, and, and also, um, just one last one, there's a challenge. You are left with three matches now um, until the end of the month, and then you have the entire uh, January off, um, and immediately uh, you, go, you go straight to the, to the Champions League group stages. What is your plan for January? Are you looking at going back to what you used to do before, maybe go and play around the continent uh, in preparation for the group stages. Yeah, the, the, the funny thing is we don't have three. We have, we have, now we are left, we've played one, two, so we are left with five. We have seven games this month, seven matches this month. It's uh, the highest number for any of the clubs. So it's a very hectic schedule for us, but we, we are not complaining. We are used to this terrain. So we keep going and focus on, on one game at a time. The issue of regarding VAR, uh, yeah, look, I think it can help, it can assist. Of course, in the, in the, in the initial stages, in the teething stages, you're going to find a lot of, lot of concerns, a lot of problems, but that's only normal. Um, but would I ask for that as a Christmas present? I don't know. I grew up in a family where I had to understand the, the, the financial constraints. I had to understand the environment and, and the terrain. I had to understand that the purse strings are not as deep as uh, my friends next door. And uh, sometimes when I asked for a skateboard, I got rollerblades. And sometimes when I asked for a PlayStation, I got a, uh, a Playboy, you know, these ones, the, the cheaper version. So, so of course, as much as I think we, we think and probably will agree that South African football can benefit greatly from maybe possessing VAR, but I do think in that in answering that question, maybe we've got a lot more uh, pertinent issues to to focus on and to solve, like quality of pitches, uh, you know, and uh, technical support for the coaches. I mean, I mean, if you look at if you look at the league, uh, you look okay. Of course, we lost uh, Brakis, Brandon, but he did a very very good job at Morocco Swallows. Was unbelievable. Uh, his team was always coached and had that identity with inverted fullbacks and aggressive number eights and, and very wide wingers. You go to Sikukune, McDonald, and his technical team, Tabo Sinong, Abraham, these coaches are doing very, very well. Uh, the way they beat Supersport is exactly the same way they beat Swallows. So you see identity, you see coaching. Uh, it's, it's incredible to see. Uh, and then you come to, to Royal AM with uh, John, 
and and his technical team and you see the style of play and even when they're not playing very well but you still see that identity of the team and and that's the hardest thing in football is to develop an identity a playing model and having that concept uh, and selling that concept to the players Caetano at super sport uh, also the same so we can talk a lot about what the great work that a lot of our colleagues are doing and 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 maybe that should be some of the things that we should be looking at trying to empower our coaches trying to help our coaches to to help to get the product a lot better on the pitch um, and then we can we can um, be putting uh, a bit more pressure on on issues like var but at this moment i think i think um kudos and and i maybe i'm off ramping a bit but you will please allow me because i think uh, a lot of our local coaches and when i say local i, I mean even um, people like John, people like Caetano, we've adopted them into into our space, and 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 they are our brothers. And 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 look at the fantastic work that these guys are doing. So, yeah, I think um, some of the, these things is is a way of saying let's empower these these guys, let's empower the coaches, and let's help the coaches to to be able to help the product to be better. Plan going to Jen. Oh, the plan going into Jan. Yeah, thanks, Shubs. Yeah, we are we are working on it, uh, Tavi. Uh, the biggest challenge we have now is, is is coming back from this situation with COVID. It's very very difficult uh, now that South Africa has been red flagged, uh, you know. So with regards to this new variant, but uh, we have to see now. We might have to change our our plans because where we did initially want to go, it looks like South Africans may not be allowed to be there, but maybe things die down and and uh, and and uh, this wave uh, moves away and then we get into that january space and and hopefully then can conclude with our with our plans but it's very difficult at the moment to be able to 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 give you any sort of concrete uh, answer because of uh, uh, us going into this fourth wave but there are plans in place um, and then hopefully once we've been given the green light from the medical department uh, and and our management also endorses these plans and says uh, it is safe for everybody to 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 undertake these 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 uh, plans and the travel. Then then I'm sure the club will issue out the right sort of communication in within that regard. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thanks, David. Thank you, thank you colleagues. Goodbye. Shout out.